hello my friends and welcome back to the channel it is august 9th 2023 3 12 p.m and welcome to resident evil 4 <clears throat> original <laughs> oh i've been wanting to play this game so long but you know just in a way, it's been kind of building up to this since 2021, or was it 2020 when I started? No, I think it was 2021. When I first started playing the remake of Resident Evil 1. Well, technically for the last uh, few months since uh, the uh, announcement of the release date for, Resident 4, uh, for the Resident Evil 4 remake... You know, I've been, uh... You know, I've been trying to catch up to this point, so that way I can play this and the remake. Okay, so... My button configuration is gonna be Type 3. I guess that's the original control scheme, at least for the PlayStation 2 version? I don't know. I'm not doing this because this looks like, uh, modern day controls. I'd much rather go with, the uh, classic. Vibration is on because I want the vibrations through my hands. Invert no, no, no inverted aim. Brightness adjustment. Adjust the monitor, uh, the brightness of your monitor by moving the dial left or right. I don't know if I should touch that. So you know, video settings. Motion blur will be off because it just doesn't look in this game. Like, the motion blur effect just doesn't look good in this game. Okay. Before I start, I will say, I have been doing some practice runs. So, yeah. Resident Evil 4. occurred in the Arclay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City. It hit the peaceful little town, with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan for the sterilized Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Or so we thought. But in terms of how the if it's you know umbrella in its original form, yeah. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Come on. Now. Why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? You. Who are you, really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. It 
was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the President's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the President's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Ah, it's freezing. What all of us are in. Ah, must be my imagination. Huh. It wasn't, boy. Sorry it took so long. It definitely wasn't your imagination. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. <laughs> right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Me on out. Well, let's check the file. Manual. Without two. What? Okay, that's for the Type One controls. Okay. Info on Ashley. Name: Ashley Graham. Age: Twenty. Daughter of the United States President. She was kidnapped by an unidentified group while on her way home from her university. The kidnapper's motives are still unknown, although there's reliable information that the perpetrator is an insider. Only a handful of people know about this kidnapping. It's been kept under wraps mostly due to the fact that we can't determine who the traitor is. The guys in intelligence say they have reliable information that Ashley's been sighted somewhere in Europe, but until we find out who the insider is, I don't know who ought to believe. It could be a ploy. We have very few leads as to the whereabouts of Ashley, but members of the Secret Service and anyone else related to Ashley are being questioned by an investigative team. Even active agents are being investigated for any information. It's just a matter of time before the kidnapper is exposed. And there we go. And here's our map. Ooh. Forget your makeup or something? <laughs> Forget your You just gonna say the same thing, boy? What about you? What's the matter? No. Not that way, cowboy. Just triggering some of the cutscenes. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, the guidepost reads Pueblo. I think that's how you say it. Oh.
Now, here's something, uh, a little something about me. Okay, there's nothing there. So, I come from a family that's mixed race, I guess. Uh, like, my father is, like, Cuban, Puerto Rican. So my mother has some Sicilian in, in her. Now, despite that, I have no idea what these people are saying in this game. <laughs> there are various small items on the shelf. Nothing particularly unusual here. As I was saying, I do not understand a lick of any Spanish. Despite my father trying to teach me throughout my youth, I was too stubborn. <laughs> uh, excuse me, sir. I wish there were subtitles. That's an ugly mug. I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. Sorry to have bothered. Freeze. I said freeze. He's dead? Just in one shot? <laughs> Shit. Oh boy. This isn't good. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Uh -huh. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. You got 800 pesetas! He's not a zombie. Something is burning in the fire, but I can't tell what it is. Oh, well, that's a hand right there. Some bones. Human remains. Something rotten is caked down the table. It seems like someone was eating here until just recently. It won't budge. They must be pressing against it from the other side. There are some old books here. Though none of them are written in English. Of course! It's Spain! Looks like they've killed a lot of people. I hope Ashley's okay. Ugh. Human remains and maggots. Ooh, yes. Take the handgun ammo. Yes, I will. Red Hawk! Okay, what's my pistol? Handgun. A standard 9mm handgun. Pretty weak so far. <laughs> of course, this garbage. Putting over here. I'm keeping it so I can sell it later. Ha ha! Whoa! Oh! Yeah, boy! Give me your money! Go check on the guys. Oh! Tire tracks.
Where are the officers? I hope they got out in time. Oh, they did get out in time. But that didn't save them. The bridge is out. I can't go back this way. That I would have been had to anyway because, well, uh, I hear a doggo. Give me that herb. Oh, I'm going to ammunition. Delicious. Uh. It looks like a warning of some sort. I have a bad feeling about this. Save the doggo! You were free! Huey. Actually, let's check what's on this side. Nothing. Oh, wait, 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 there's this. What? Okay, fine, whatever. Let's go get that red herb. Hey, hey, wasn't there an herb here? Herby, yes! Examine. Green herb. Herb that restores partial health. Red herb. Mixing it with a green herb will completely restore health. Which I will do, though I'm gonna save it. No. First aid spray completely restores health. I'm never using these! Grenade. A handy explosive that will detonate several seconds after throwing. They are useful. Again. Pueblo. Un no, you won't. Come over here, boyo. Spanish man. Again, Pueblo! Oh boy. Guess there's no sex discrimination here. Better find her fast. Nothing! Roundhouse kick! Ha ha! Give me that ammo. Yum! It just disappeared. <laughs> 